tens of thousands of Tanzanians continue to pay their respects to late President John Magufuli. Many people collapsed with grief on Sunday at a public ceremony in the country's largest city, Dar es Salaam. John Magufuli died suddenly last week after an illness officials say was caused by heart failure. But an opposition leader claimed the cause of death was COVID. He was a great leader and icon to many of us, not just Tanzania, but Africa in general. He was a leader who reminded us a lot about our freedom fighter and our father of African nations such as Kwame Nkrumah. His leadership really helped us to have self-confidence as Africans. I managed today to pay my last respects to my late president. My heart is in great pain for losing him. But we have to thank God for everything, especially during this hard time. We shall always remember him for all the good things he did for our great nation. Many at the funeral were quick to repeat official comments that he had died from heart failure, calling claims of his death being caused by COVID street rumors. <laughs> Members of the public can pay their respects for one day as his body lies in state at the Uru Stadium after government officials did so on Saturday. Magufuli's body is due to be flown to various parts of the country where Tanzanians will be allowed to pay their last respects. He will be buried on March 26 in his home village of Chato along the banks of Lake Victoria.